Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or FSR, just came out, and honestly, it's pretty amazing. While I still stand on my opinion that the image quality degrades a little too much when going into performance mode, I can see how the other settings, such as ultra quality, quality, and up to a point balanced, are amazing. You can watch my input on the subject on the Hardware Connects channel, where we made a whole video about it. But anyways, while FSR was released, AMD made a move that, let's just say, puzzles me. So, what's up guys, I'm Snows, and today we talk all about that on your boot sequence. Anyways, as I was saying, FSR is great for gamers. Not only does it offer extra FPS for someone who wants to game at a higher resolution with their new or new-ish GPUs, like an RX 5000 or 6000 series, it also adds tremendous value for people with older graphics cards, like somebody who has an RX 460, for example. But it stops there. According to the information provided by AMD, FSR will be supported for the RX 460 and above for AMD cards, and the GTX 1000 series and above for Nvidia cards. And of course, we can't forget about Ryzen-based APUs. But that's a shame. What about the five-year-old RX 55 or RX 435? They came out at the same time as the RX 480. Why would AMD stop support for these? It can't be because of a performance issue, since clearly a slightly older but still higher-end Fury GPU is still more powerful than an RX 480. And then I thought, maybe it's a shader model thing, or maybe even a DirectX version support problem? But nope. I checked everywhere, and everything is supported. At least between those models. The only difference here is that the 400 series and onwards, specifically the 460 and above, use the GCN4 architecture. While GPUs made before that used, well, previous versions of GCN, so GCN 1, 2, or 3. So why stop the support for FSR there? Well, because AMD was planning on stopping support for all of these older GPUs anyways. Yep, that's convenient. AMD is killing support for all GPUs under the 400 series. You have a Fury card, well, no more game-ready drivers or new features. You have a 380X or 290X, same thing. Maybe you have a 7000 series, a Radeon HD 7000. Well, okay, maybe you should upgrade, but anyways, only the 400 series and up are getting updates from now on. And when I say 400 series, I mean 460 and up, because yes, the 455 and under are dropped from the uh, driver updates. Now, that doesn't mean that your older GPUs will be useless. You can still play your games with whatever performance that you have right now. My friend still has a 380X and it works well. But if you encounter any bugs related to your GPU architecture in a game, well, don't expect a fix. This really grinds my gears because it couldn't come at a worse time. We're still not completely out of the pandemic. And on top of that, we have this little thing called, you know, the chip shortage, which prevents us from getting the newest cards at a reasonable price. AMD could have killed two birds with one stone, or technically, two birds with two stones. First, AMD should have support on these older GPUs too. With the insane performance uplift we're seeing from FSR, there is no reasons that it shouldn't be implemented. If you were ballsy enough to not only make the tech fully open, but to make it a point to demo it on a competitor's aging GPU, then maybe you should support FSR on your older GPUs too. The second thing AMD should have done is keep updating and supporting them in the drivers for a little while longer. This would give them a second life, at least through the pandemic slash the chip shortage that we have right now. And it would paint AMD as a freaking savior in our times of need. But nope, they had to do us like that. And before someone says that these cards can't support FSR simply because, well, they're too old, well, let's just say that you're not right, because I have a video coming up about this very subject in which I test different GPUs with FSR. This single move instantly makes AMD's backward support worse than Nvidia's. Nvidia is currently supporting cards all the way back to the 600 series. That's nine years of support. In October, they're stopping support for the 6 and 700 series, yes, but that will still make Nvidia support seven years of GPUs between the first 900 series and today. 
And at least, NVIDIA warned us months in advance that they're cutting support for their 6 and 700 series. As for AMD, well, they've cut their support timeline from nine to five years as of this Monday. I went through AMD's last year of blog posts and honestly, this decision seems really out of the blue, or at least it didn't bother to warn us, you know? So I wanna know what you guys think. Should we expect AMD to at least support cards for as long as Nvidia does, or at least until the shortage subsides, or do you think that it's fair for them to drop support right now? Let me know down below. Oh, and by the way, once again, in the 400 series, anything under a 460, like a RX 435 or 455, is also not supported for the uh, upcoming drivers. So that five year of support kinda needs an asterisk. Anyways guys, I saw that piece of news from AMD today and I thought that you guys might be interested in knowing about it. I also wanted to share my opinion on the matter. But that's pretty much it for uh, this. You can leave a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's story. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty my dudes and I'll see you on the next one. Unless AMD discontinues me.